Hi, I'm Veda. It's very nice to meet you. I'm going to be administering your COVID-19 vaccine today. Now, this is your first dose, correct? Okay, excellent. And I heard you were a little bit nervous and maybe had some questions. Okay, yeah, that is perfectly normal. There's a lot of information going around right now and not all of it is accurate, so we definitely want to make sure to address all of your concerns. The vaccine is very safe. So, um, what I'll do today, actually, you're my last appointment, so we have plenty of time. I'll go through our pre-vaccine checklist and then um, talk a little bit about the vaccine, answer any questions you have, we'll vaccinate you, and then there's a mandatory observation period afterwards for 15 minutes generally, just to make sure that you don't have any negative effects, although that is very rare, okay? Nothing to be nervous about. Does that sound good? Okay, perfect. So today you're going to be receiving the first dose of the Pfizer vaccine. The second dose will take place in 21 days, and you do have an appointment scheduled for that, I see. So that appointment works for you? Okay, perfect. You definitely want to make that appointment because the vaccine is not effective until 7 to 14 days after that second dose. So it's very important to get both doses. 7 to 14 days after the second dose, it is 95% effective. So extremely effective against COVID. So you're going to be in really good hands. We'll make sure that you're nice and safe, okay? Now, I'm going to ask you some questions, all right? The following questions will help us determine if there's a reason you should not get the COVID-19 vaccine today. If you answer yes to any question, it does not necessarily mean you should not be vaccinated. It just means additional questions may be asked, okay? All right. So, first off, are you feeling sick today? There's no evidence that acute illness um, impacts the efficacy of the COVID vaccine, but if you are feeling pretty sick, we would definitely want to delay that vaccine for you, especially because there can be some minor side effects that would make you more uncomfortable, okay? You said you've never received a dose of the COVID-19 vaccine, okay? And the reason we ask that is because the two vaccines, the Pfizer and Moderna, are not interchangeable, so we just want to make sure that you haven't gotten the Moderna and now you're getting the Pfizer. Okay. So this one's important. Have you ever had an allergic reaction that includes anaphylaxis to a component of the COVID-19 vaccine, including polyethylene glycol or PEG, which is found in some medications such as laxatives and preparations for colonoscopy procedures? Okay, good. And uh, any reaction to polysorbate? Okay, good. And you said you've never had a previous dose, so no reaction to that. So those would be things that are contraindications to receiving the vaccine today. If you had a severe allergic reaction in the past to any component of the vaccine, we wouldn't be able to give it to you because we don't want to give you another severe allergic reaction. But it looks like you're okay. Have you ever had an allergic reaction to another vaccine? Okay. Even if you had, we'd still potentially be able to give you the COVID vaccine. It just lengthens the observation period. So the um, baseline observation period is 15 minutes. If you're at a slightly higher risk for any interaction, we give you uh, 30 minutes. And have you ever had a severe allergic reaction to something other than a component of the COVID-19 vaccine. Yep, that would include um, any food, animals, environmental, or oral medications. Okay. And have you received any vaccines in the last 14 days? Okay, good. Yeah, if you had received another vaccine in the last 14 days, we'd need to postpone this one, so that's good. Have you ever tested positive for COVID-19? Okay. Excellent. Yeah, even if people have previously had COVID, they should still get the vaccine, but definitely not for you. Um, have you received passive antibody therapy 
as treatment for COVID-19? I would assume no, since you have not had COVID-19. And uh, do you have a weakened immune system caused by something such as HIV infection or cancer? Or do you take immunosuppressive drugs or therapies? Okay. And do you have a bleeding disorder or are you taking any blood thinners? Okay, excellent. So based on the checklist, it is perfectly safe for you to receive the COVID-19 vaccine today. I do want to talk a little bit, little bit excuse me, about some uh, potential side effects of the vaccine. They are generally minor, and not everybody gets these. Um, as we said before, the allergic reaction, including anaphylaxis, is extremely rare. We do keep you for that observation period just in case, but for you, it's almost impossible that you would have that. However, there's always a risk with any vaccine of a reaction, so that's not... Um, specific to the COVID vaccine by any means anyway. So other side effects may include um, flu-like symptoms such as fever, chills, fatigue, headache, vomiting or diarrhea, those are more rare, pain or swelling at the injection site. Okay. So those things may occur one to three days after vaccination. Again, if you do experience any of those, it's usually pretty mild, but it might feel like you're coming down with a flu. It's perfectly natural. It's just your body building the immunity and those proteins from the vaccine. Okay. Now, let's get to the next page here. Do you have any questions for me? Yeah, okay. So, no, the vaccine cannot give you COVID. Um, the vaccine itself does not have the live virus in it, so it's absolutely impossible for you to get COVID from the vaccine. It is an mRNA vaccine, or a messenger RNA, and basically it teaches your immune system how to recognize and fight COVID. Uh, pretty much, it has material from the virus that gives your cells instructions for how to make a spike protein, which is a harmless protein that is specific to COVID-19 and uh, your body recognizes that that is a foreign protein and sends B lymphocytes and T lymphocytes to basically attack it and they remember how to fight COVID from that. So pretty much the vaccine is just training your body to fight COVID. So if you come into contact with it in the future, you'll be safe. Yeah. Oh no, no, it doesn't, uh, it does not change your DNA. I know that's a rumor that's going around. The vaccine absolutely does not change anything in your DNA. Your DNA is in the nucleus of your cells. This has nothing to do with that. It doesn't even go into the nucleus of your cells, so it doesn't change your DNA at all. Any other questions? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yes, that's a common concern, just like um, with all the information going around. I know a lot of people think that maybe this vaccine is a little bit rushed but it's really not. They were able to develop it quickly because um, we had previously done a lot of research on creating vaccines for the SARS-1 virus. So we were able to use some of that knowledge as well as the mRNA technology to develop the vaccine more quickly, but it still went through all of the clinical trials and safety protocols. It's extremely safe. They didn't skip any of those safety measures. So something you can be very confident in and nothing to worry about. Anything else? Okay. Yeah, that's actually an excellent question. So even after you've had the vaccine, after the 7 to 14 days, it's still important that you continue with safety protocols such as um, masking in public and social distancing, washing your hands, all that stuff. Because although you are very unlikely to get sick from COVID, like I said, 95% effective, it's still unknown if you could potentially be an asymptomatic carrier should you come into contact with the virus. Yeah, so basically that means that you won't get sick from it, but if you come into contact with somebody that's sick, it's possible that you could spread it to somebody else who hasn't had the vaccine. So we want to make sure that everybody is as safe as possible until everybody's had a chance to get the vaccine, okay? Yeah. Anything else? Okay. 
Well, we can go ahead and um, do your vaccine now if you're comfortable. Awesome, yeah. I'm really glad that you came in. I know you were concerned. Hopefully I've um, helped you with some of those concerns and fears because there really is a lot of misinformation going around, but the vaccine is extremely safe. So let's get you all set up here, okay? Just put this down here. So I'm going to go ahead and disinfect your arm. Um, you're right-handed. Okay, so I'm going to do the left arm just in case you have some soreness. That way it's not affecting your arm that you use the most. So we'll do it in your left arm if you don't have any. Um, okay, so left arm, it goes right up here in the muscle. So I'm going to start by uh, just disinfecting. Just come in here. It's just a little bit cold, okay? Disinfect your arm here. Okay. Excellent. Get the band-aid ready. This part's really quick. It's all the pre-stuff that uh, takes a little while just to make sure it's totally safe and that everybody's really comfortable. Okay, so I have your vaccine right here. And get ready to administer that. Are you a little nervous with needles? Oh, me too. I know. Okay, so just don't look then if it makes you uncomfortable. Just a little pinch, okay? Are you ready? All right, everyone. Just a little pinch. There we go. Okay. That's it. Get that band-aid on there. That's it. That's your first dose. All right. So remember, you are not fully protected until 7 to 14 days after the second dose. So we still have to do that second dose. However, even after the first dose, it's um, thought that it'll probably help with any serious complications should you get COVID before the second dose. So less likely to have serious complications from COVID. So that's good, but still want to be careful. Okay. So we already talked about some of the common side effects, the pain or swelling in the arm with the injection, possible fever, chills, tiredness, or headaches should be pretty minor and uh, just for one to three days, if that. Normally people, if they do experience it, they only have it on the day after. So uh, let's see here. Some helpful tips, if you do have the pain or discomfort, you can take over-the-counter medications such as um, ibuprofen or acetaminophen to help with those symptoms. You can also apply a clean, cool, wet washcloth to the area, and actually using or exercising your arm will help relieve that soreness. So. Don't just let it uh, atrophy because it hurts a little bit. Using it should help. Um, if you do end up with a fever, just make sure to drink plenty of fluids, dress lightly, keep comfortable. If your fever is over 101 or 102, you can contact your doctor just to be safe. Okay, if uh, redness or tenderness where you get the shot increases after 24 hours, then contact your doctor. If your side effects are very much worrying you or don't seem to be going away after a couple of days, contact your doctor, okay? So, uh, things to remember. Side effects may feel like the flu or even affect your ability to do daily things, but they should go away after a few days and it's very normal. And you do need that second shot for it to be effective, okay? So, I'm going to send you home with this. I'm also going to send you home with your vaccine card that shows the date that you received the first dose. And uh, we have a few more minutes of observation. Um, you know what I've been doing with some other people who come in? We've been playing quarantine bingo. Or, like, I have a quarantine bingo sheet. And I've been asking them some questions about what they've done during quarantine. It's kind of interesting to hear what people have done. Do you want to go through some of that? Okay, fun. So, uh, some of them are funny. All right, first, have you put on real pants? I see you're wearing pants today, but how about, um, we'll say May through August. Did you put on real pants? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that one's just kind of a funny one. 
I know I've definitely put on real pants, but at home, I like to wear sweatpants most of the time. How about this one? Have you finished a puzzle? Yeah. What was it? That's cute. How many pieces? Oh, man. Okay, that's a big one. Yeah, I don't really do puzzles, but that's fun. Uh, have you written in a journal? Yeah. I have a journal, but I don't really use it for, like, daily stuff. I just put, I don't know, notes in it or things I need to remember. All that kind of stuff. Man, you're doing good here. Have you done any yard work? Okay. <laughs> uh, have you read a book? Yeah. Yeah, what book did you read? Oh, that sounds good. Yeah. I have that on my list, actually. Did you like it? Yeah. You recommend it? Okay. Yeah, maybe I'll bump that up to the top of the list. I read a lot of uh, mystery thrillers, so... Yeah. <laughs> have you taken an online class? <laughs> How about any um, exercise classes or anything? Yeah, sometimes I find them on um, YouTube. Like just a workout class or a yoga class or something. Can be nice for something to do. Uh, oh, this is a good one. Have you learned a new skill? Yeah. That's so cool. Okay, fun. A lot of people taking up new hobbies during quarantine. Yeah. Well, I've, um, I've learned how to edit videos a little bit, so I've been doing that. Yeah, I just make these, um, like, cute, fun little videos, just for fun. Yeah. And I learned how to ride a motorcycle. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's fun. Uh, have you gone for a walk? I know, like every day, right? A lot of people. Yeah, I like to walk around my neighborhood. It's been pretty cold lately. Oh, this one's cool. Okay, so a lot of people have done this. Have you hosted a virtual happy hour? No, but you've been to one. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I haven't hosted one, but I've attended one. Mm -hmm. I know uh, my husband hosted some like virtual poker nights. People stopped playing, though, because he was winning all the money, so he can't get anybody to play anymore. All right. Uh, have you cuddled with a pet? Yeah. yeah. I have two cats and a dog, so I have plenty of cuddles. Hmm. You're crushing this bingo board. Um, have you made something you saw on Pinterest? No, <laughs> Yeah, um, I've been tempted to, like, I've seen some really good desserts and stuff online, and I'm always tempted, but no, I haven't, and some cool arts and crafts, too. Have you ordered food? Yeah, <laughs> I know, like, every week, right? Yeah, well, we have to support the local restaurants and stuff. A lot of people are, uh, a lot of them are going under, so they need, they need our support. It's for the good of the community. Order food. Um, have you made an unnecessary online purchase? <laughs> Me too. My Amazon cart is, uh, constantly full. Um, and have you binge-watched a full series in one day? Wow. Okay. Yeah, have you seen Queen's Gambit? <gasps> you haven't seen Queen's Gambit yet? It's so good. Yeah, it's really good. That's definitely, uh, one day type of show. It's awesome. Yeah. So, uh, bingo, I guess. You filled the whole board, and, uh, you know, it's cute, the free space. It's the free space, but it's, um, washed your hands, because everybody's done that, like, a million times, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah, you just have a few more minutes of observation here, if you just want to go through your phone or anything. But um, I'll be here, and then I'll walk you out after that. Make sure that we give you your vaccine card and your aftercare info, okay? Awesome. Cool.